if you have one of these plastic foil vents, change it immediately. These are super dangerous and there's actually a sticker on the back of all dryers that say do not use plastic foil vents. They're also attached with those flimsy spring clamps. So I would recommend Dryer Flex. This is the best dryer vent you can get and I'll leave a link down below so you can get it at the cheapest price. So now to install this vent, we are gonna unravel it. And this is the most important part because if you don't unravel it enough, then it won't fit on and it'll be very frustrating. So just kind of flatten it out with your fingers. You could also use a flat head screwdriver if you want, but the idea is to get it as flat and as thin as possible so it will slide easily over your vent and try not to rip it in the process. So now I have it nice. I'm just making sure that it is nice and flat. And now I'm gonna line it up with the vent, get it on there, make sure you don't rip or tear it while you're putting it on there. That could be very frustrating. You finally get it on and then it tears. That happens a lot. So now it is on there good. You wanna leave a little bit of the vent, of the actual metal vent that you're attaching it to exposed so we could connect some tape and get it to stick nicely. My trick is to take silver tape and you should definitely be using silver tape if you install this, do not use duct tape. And now before we put the clamp on, we are going to wrap the silver tape around it. This is, for one, it's gonna help it hold on to it and it's gonna seal out all the dust because no matter how tight you make the clamp, it will still have air come out. So now that it's sealed, also that tape is gonna prevent the clamp from ripping when we tighten it. Sometimes you finally get it on, everything's good, you tighten it and it rips, the tape will help that. Now use one of these clamps. These clamps, ha you could either use a Phillips or you could use a 5 16 bit to get a nice good grip on it and tighten it well. Do not use other clamps. Do not you definitely do not use the spring clamps if you're using one of these semi-rigid vents. Now we are gonna put it on and we're gonna hold the clamp with our thumb and then we are gonna take our drill. I highly recommend you use a drill. If you try to do it with a screwdriver, you might not get it tight enough, but if that's all you have, then just make sure it's really tight. Give it a little bit of a tug and make sure that it's not coming off. Don't over tighten it make sure you don't rip it but now it's on there nice and tight and it has no obstructions and that side is ready to go now after we clamp it we're going to put a piece of tape over the clamp to just for extra protection extra durability making sure we get no dust and heat here in florida you don't want any extra heat inside your home so that is going to seal it all in also it we'll make sure that your laundry room doesn't get all dusty. So now let's go on the dryer. So this is the tricky part because these dryers, some of them have different type of vents on the back. Some of them are bigger, some are smaller, and some are slightly wider or slightly too thin. So now if it's if it, the vent is too small, then when you tighten it, you could rip your vent. If it's too big, it's obviously gonna be hard to attach it, but this one seemed like it was okay. So again, we're gonna do the same thing that we did on the other side, and that is to straighten it out with our fingers to make sure that it is nice and flat so it fits on there good. So we're using the same clamp again, and now we are going to repeat the process. We're gonna put it on there, make sure it's on there, nice and good again this part is sharp so make sure you don't cut yourself and make sure you don't rip the vent so there we go again we're going to leave a slight bit of the actual vent exposed so our tape has something to grab on so we're getting the tape on again this is not to hold the vent on make sure you use a clamp as well this is just to make sure the vent doesn't rip and give us some extra protection from the dust and heat coming out so there it is on there nicely. So now this one's a little tricky. We're gonna hold the vent in place and hold the clamp in place and then use our drill. So we're gonna tighten it up nice and tight, but don't over tighten it. And now it is on there good. Go, so now it's on there good. But now after all this hard work that we did, you don't wanna ruin it by smushing the vent when you push it back. So this is really tricky. There, there's really no trick to it. Sometimes I will jump over the dryer because I, but I'm sure most people don't want to do that. What I'm doing right now is I'm testing it. I'm turning on the dryer on air only 
and I'm just going to turn it on and put my hands by where the air comes out, making sure that there is no air. You shouldn't feel any air coming out at all, and if you do, use a little tape to put it around there. So now I'm cleaning up behind here. The most important thing to, to do once you're done is when you push it back, do it slowly and check it a bunch of times to make sure that it's not going to get bent. If it gets bent and smushed, it is going to impede the airflow. So we're going to make sure it's good. And then we are going to turn the dryer on. And if you have access to your vent, if it's on the first floor, then you could actually go outside and make just double check, put your hand in front of it and make sure that there is airflow coming out of the dryer vent and that everything is good. It should be blowing nice and hard. This one was a really small short run and that is how you install the, your dryer vent yourself and I'll leave links down below to all of the recommended products and if you want to learn how to clean your dryer vent your, yourself, check out this video over here. Thank you.